Hi, this is Dr. Kat Fleece from Central New Mexico Community College. This is video B of the blood vessels. We will focus here on the arterial system and the different kinds of arteries present in our body. Within the arterial system, we see three types of vessels. We have the elastic arteries, the muscular arteries, and the arterioles. So let's take a look at each one of these. The elastic arteries are given the nickname conducting arteries. And what does that mean? It means that their sole purpose is to get the blood away from the heart. They function as conduits. You can think of it that way. So therefore, they're not really going to play such a role in getting the blood to specific organs and specific tissues. They just want to get the blood away from the heart. And so clearly that involves, or includes, I should say, the aorta, but also its major branches. Remember that the aorta gives rise to the brachiocephalic trunk, which then splits into the, common, the right common carotid artery and the right subclavian artery. Uh, our second branch of the aortic arch is the left common carotid artery, and then we have the left subclavian artery. And even some of their branches would be within the elastic artery category. These are big vessels. If you ever could see a heart of a human, the aorta and its branches are huge. Notice that they can be two and a half centimeters to one centimeter. That means almost an inch wide in diameter. Now, because they have that huge lumen, there's going to be very low resistance, meaning there's not a whole lot of surface along which the blood is going to be rubbing. We do still see that there is elastic present or elastic there's there are elastic fibers present uh, in the wall of these vessels not only distributed throughout the the tunica media but we clearly see that internal layer here for instance the elastic layers or the elastic fibers i should say primarily function in allowing these vessels to distend as blood is pumped into them as the heart contracts and then recoil, and as they recoil, they allow for the blood to be pushed forward and not return back to the heart. So the, the role of these elastic fibers is not so much in vasoconstriction and vasodilation. Um, that's not to say that these fibers, I'm sorry, these vessels can't do that, but their main function is to just to get the blood away from the heart by recoiling in particular. On the other hand, the arteries that are responsible for getting the blood to very specific organs, we call the muscular arteries because they are going to play a very important role in vasoconstriction and vasodilation so that tunica media with the smooth muscle fibers plays a very important role. And so we're going to now see that the arteries that belong to the muscular arteries typically have very specific um, names that correspond to either uh, a region or an organ that they nourish. So the splenic artery or the brachial artery, um, the femoral artery, things like that. So they're going to have a smaller diameter, which means that any time that diameter is changed by means of vasoconstriction or vasodilation, we're going to see that the blood experiences a whole lot more resistance or not, depending on whether dilation or constriction occurs, of course. Finally, we get to the arterioles, and, and this time we're looking at vessels that are becoming um, harder and harder to see with the bare eye to impossible. So once we get below 0.1 millimeter, we can't see the vessels with the bare eyes anymore. They still have all three tunics, by the way, with the tunica media once again being the most important one, these arterioles once again play a very important role in vasoconstriction and vasodilation. And, and in that sense, they also play a very important role in, in determining how much blood is going to enter into our capillary beds. The arterioles are eventually going to feed the blood into the capillary beds so they can influence how much of that blood actually makes it into those capillary beds. So this wraps up the arterial system. Next we'll take a look at the capillaries.